Welcome back, brothers and sisters. I am Braden. This is Langley Outdoors Academy, and thank you for stopping by. All right, guys, what we're going to dive into on this episode of The Bullet Points is overt propaganda. Now, one of the reasons that we dive in so deeply on all the gun movement, on all the bills, everything that we go into on a daily basis, so that we know and we are aware, we can go, wait a minute, that didn't sound quite right. Well, what I've got for you today is an example of just such an occasion. Shannon Watts, leader, founder of Moms Demand Action, a visionary amongst the gun control world. Well, she just put out a tweet that is saying that Alabama sheriffs are now all of a sudden defunded because of the constitutional carry bill that became law this past year. Now, again, if it, if it uh, strikes a chord in your brain, everything will be linked in the description box below. But I'm going to show you why this is overt propaganda, easily dismissible and refutable. And that's what we do on this channel every day, twice a day. Now, I'm going to say a quick word from our sponsor, Acre Gold. I cannot wait to hear what you guys think of this one in the comments field below. And let's get into it because this is the stuff that we need to hold them accountable to. Now, today's sponsor is Acre Gold. In today's economic environment, inflation is actively diminishing the value of our dollar and our savings. One way to fight inflation is investing in gold, and Acre Gold has a program to make gold affordable in order to preserve your savings against future inflation. Check out the link in the description box below, and thank you so much to Acre Gold for making the videos this week possible. And guys, brothers and sisters, if you are new, we would love to earn that subscription to keep you in the fold, to keep you in the news so we have more people to get the message out quickly and effectively. And thank you so much for your consideration. But let's dive into this because, as I mentioned, the visionary Shannon Watts has some information for us. Easily available on your screen and linked. Alabama sheriffs are mad at GOP lawmakers for passing permitless carry, also known as constitutional carry. little branding thing there. Exacerbating gun violence and defunding the police. Uh oh, now Republicans are defunding the police. This is, this is great. Let's find out how. This is just another way of defunding law enforcement at a time when violent crime is on the rise. Montgomery County Sheriff. Well, you guys know me, and so I had to click the article. So check this out, and then I'm going to show you the actual bill, because if you recall, we covered it on this channel. There were provisions in the constitutional carry bill that Kay Ivey signed into law that actually reimbursed all of these states and all of the, or excuse me, counties and all of these sheriff's offices. But Shannon Watts isn't going to tell you that. Here's the article she cited. Then I'm going to show you the actual bill. Defunding law enforcement. Alabama Sheriff's County Commission Association sounds alarm over drop in gun permit applications. This is from September 5th. So this is a week old, but that's not going to stop Shannon. Check this out. Alabama sheriffs and the head of the state's County Commission Association are sounding alarms about the financial implications of removing concealed carry permit revenues from their budgets. The cuts could be as deep for county sheriffs and could shave off up to 50% of more or more from an agency's budget within the next year. Okay, so let's talk about this. You are, understand are talking about someone paying fees and fines to actually take part in their Second Amendment rights. This is a constitutional right. The argument is no longer about gun safety. It's no longer about what should and shouldn't be done with the population. Now it's about paying a tax for a right that you have, which is against the Constitution and their Supreme Court cases, which do not accept that as a viable option. But again, not going to stop Moms Demand Action. I got one more thing from this article, then I'm going to show you the actual bill, which refutes this in spades. State lawmakers say there is a provision in the permitless carry legislation to restore some of those revenues. They also say that the money shortage could be addressed by lawmakers through budgeting next year. So big red flag for you guys. When you hear a Democrat or a gun controller or a leftist start talking about budgetary concerns, it's not about budgetary concerns because you can easily allocate more budget in the next year's fiscal meetings, but it's not about that. You can also address the fact that in the actual constitutional carry bill that was passed and became law, there was funding to reimburse all the lost revenue. But again, we can't talk about that. Don't believe me? Everything is always linked, but I've got some segments from the bill right here. Section 6. There is created in the state treasury a fund to be known as the Local Government Pistol Permit Revenue Loss Fund. It's pretty succinct. Into which there is automatically appropriated $5 million annually, or so much as necessary to maintain a balance of $2 million in the fund at the beginning of each fiscal year for the three fiscal years following the effective date of this section. Interesting. So all the funding concerns were completely addressed in the bill that became law. But Shannon's not telling you that. She's just retweeting a headline and blaming the GOP and saying they're defunding the police. 
even though the bill that KIV signed literally reimburses it in something called the Pistol Revenue Loss Fund. Ugh. But let's continue. Any grants awarded to a county pursuant to this subsection may not exceed the amount of revenue received from pistol permit fees by that county in fiscal year 2022, as indicated within the reports to the Department of Examiners of Public Accounts. Any amounts exceeding these revenues shall be remitted back to the local government pistol permit revenue loss fund at the end of each fiscal year. You're not getting more, you're not getting less. If you have more, you send it back. If you have less, you will be compensated. What's this tweet all about? Because it's not based in fact, it's not based in reality. So what could it be? Could it be, I don't know, manipulation towards uh, motivating people to vote against GOP and blaming them for a revenue short, uh, short, shortfall that is actually not existent? That is overt propaganda. That is manipulation. And that is why we cover these things on this channel. Let me know what you guys think in the comments field below. And I will see you tonight at the 9 p.m. segment. I'm Braden. See you later.